gonna be really quick. Don't put words in my mouth. I just don't get some of the bull goes on. We suck from head to toe. I'm not gonna answer any questions for you. Because I've already heard enough of that already. You throw a lot of things out there and you really don't think. Well, I'm not gonna dissect with you guys. I know you have to do your job, but I'm not answering any questions. Okay, so that should finish it. Could we be seeing a kinder, gentler John Tortorella in Vancouver? After four and a half explosive years on Broadway, the 55-year-old coach sounds as though he might be embracing the West Coast lifestyle. But in all seriousness, Tortorella seems to recognize that to survive in today's NHL, he needs to adapt, especially when dealing with the media. He makes no promises, but says he'll try. To go into a situation 10 minutes after, leave rules, 10 minutes after, talk to you guys. It's hard for me. I am not, whether we win or lose, Sometimes I'm worse when we won, and not just losing all the time. I'm not good at it. Uh, I probably, I probably never will. I mean, my time is running out, and I probably never will. I need to somehow find a middle ground there where I can get through it. To, uh, respect your job as media, and but also respect my team and how much I give you. Do you ever think you're misunderstood? Yeah, oh, I, 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 well, I don't think I know I am. But I make my own bed there too because I'm not, I'm not, I'm not too interested in in allowing people to really get close to me as far as really know who I am. Because well, you I, do have an engaging person. Yes, 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 I do. Yes, I. Do. Yeah, there's no question. I, I, I don't think I'm an ass. You're very humble about it. <laughs> I don't, I, but I do. I, I think I have. Uh, uh, something to offer as far as being a decent person. I, um, I just don't allow people in. I, I, I sometimes I don't have enough time to allow people in. I have a job to do. I, I take my job very seriously. I don't think it should be about me. And sometimes I've taken that to such an extent, not to be about me, that it ends up being about me. I make some mistakes that way. And, I didn't want to lose my job in New York. I really liked what I was doing here. I thought we were going the right direction. It kind of caught me off guard. Um, we are human beings as coaches, and it, it, it set me back and made me reassess. I, I guess at this stage of my career, maybe I should allow people to understand me just a little bit better and open up. I'm not going to give you everything, but I, uh, I think I need to engage a little bit more. Despite his run-ins with the media in New York, Tortorella says he had some good relationships with certain members of the press. A list that doesn't include New York Post writer Larry Brooks, with whom the fiery coach feuded with often, but never come to a mutual understanding. Brooksy, if I want to explain it to you, I would. Next question. Are you answering those questions or what? I guess that's what I'm saying, Brooksy. You get that through your head? I guess so. Yeah. And it's time to waste the time. Oh, well, then get the f out of here then. I am. Okay, see ya. You know, Larry and I tried. We tried to understand one another. It didn't work. It, it didn't work. And uh, um, but I don't begrudge him. He's trying to do his job. Uh, um, so I need to find a middle ground. Do you ever it, laugh at some of the? Like, does anybody ever show you some of the images or some of the clips? My kids. Your kids. Yeah, my kids. And do you laugh at them, or do you are you, po are you straight? No, I do. I do. I, I don't remember doing it sometimes. And really? yeah, through my through the emotion of it all and. Um, I do. I try to reassess after I'm done when I think something may have gone a little hinky in that interview or something happened there. I try to reassess what, what did you exactly say. And, um, but certainly my family, uh, uh, especially my family, and, and sometimes not in a, in a joking way, more or less saying, what the hell are you doing? I hope I'm maturing and, and, and trying to get to a middle ground. Listen, I'm not, I'm not going to be your best buddy but I don't need to be uh, 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 disrespectful and indignant when I, when I really don't need to be. Sometimes I need to be, but I, sometimes I, I, I haven't had to do it and I'm just pissed off and I do it. Tortorella has spent time self-reflecting over the last few months as he embarks on a new journey in Vancouver. And when asked about whether he's learned anything about himself over the course of the off season, he points to, of all things, Twitter. I think I've been a little bit uh, um, behind as far as this social media and and all the stuff that goes on with that. Uh, um, you gonna tweet more? No, no. I, 
I, I do have a, a, a Twitter account, and I use it solely for uh, charities. It, it was a huge success for some of the things we, we did with animal welfare in New York. Uh, it was it, it just it was so it was tremendous as far as how it reached out to people and it, it created some relationships for us as far as charities. But uh, quite honestly, I think that the Twitter and tweeting is probably one of the most narcissistic things I've ever seen as far as people saying I'm here doing this. And yet your goaltender has become yeah, that's one, one, one a fan base back over yeah. as a result of it yeah. showing his personality. Yeah, I, I post to the guys tweeting during the season. Yeah, I am. I. I, I you know, before you say you're not, you're not going to. Uh, I, and this is part of, I guess, some of the uh, reassessing and with today's athlete, I think I need to meet him halfway. There better be nothing coming out of our locker room as far as what goes on there. There might be some give from the cup winning coach, but you know there will be a bunch of take as well once the puck drops in October.